live in high quality. Okay, and we are in. All right. Okay, and we are in the game, so we are seeing our team start off with a bottom side leash. Our Ramus is going to be going for a, I believe, a full clear, starting with his red buff. In the top lane, I was correct. It is a Vayne versus a Malphite. So this lane is going to be very dependent on the Vayne uh, poking this Malphite out, trying to get as much damage as she can on him. Oh, and we see an early gank coming out. J4 is going for our Vayne. This J4 already hit level 2, but our Vayne survives. Walking back just underneath the tower, J4 isn't going to be able to commit so early because he could get killed by our tower. So our Ramus just got the bot side Scuttle Crab, and he got pinged that their jungler might be in our blue side. So he's going to try to take their blue buff as well. We see him counter jungling a potential... Um, invade from the enemy team. Take a look at bot lane here. See our bot lane just hitting level 2. The enemy bot lane hit level 2 a little bit earlier. And it looks like our Ramus might come in for a early gank. Gets the flash, gets the CC. This looks like it might be a kill. Oh, but the enemy team secures first blood. So that's first blood onto their ADC, one kill onto ours. And the Jarvan comes for a counter gank. Both survive and it's 1-1. One, one. Take a look at our mid lane here. We have King Kong Chrono on the Pantheon. He's currently a level behind their victor, but he is up in terms of health. CS pretty even on a lot of lanes. And our top lane is still here just playing that sustained game, trying to get as much CS as possible against their Malphite, a big bruiser. And we see a potential gank here, come, or a counter gank coming in from their Jarvan. He's trying to counter gank our Ramus, but nothing really happens. And I would say that our mid lane is at a slight advantage here. Definitely a pretty good spot for our mid lane to be in. Health advantage. Starting to potentially set up a freeze. I'm not too good at lane management in uh, mid lane though, so I'm not positive. It's that cannon minion. Yep, the wave is looking pretty good for our mid laner. Oh, but there's a dive bot lane. Potential dive. The Sivir potentially gets a kill, but no. The heal comes out. Not too sure if that was needed, but it just locks in the safety of our Seraphin here. And our Varus is going to keep on just going for this CS under tower. Overall, things are looking pretty good. Their Jarvan is still in our bot lane means that he is giving up pressure in other parts of the map. And bot lane is just going to keep going. We see mid lane, their uh, victor is using his teleport summoner spell to get back. So that's going to be a little bit of value that, he, that he's missing. Our Pantheon is going to back here without waiting for level 6, which is interesting. If Pantheon waits for level 6 can just ult back to lane and potentially get a kill on this victor because he still has ignite. That is one of the choices that you're able to make in mid lane is whether you want to run teleport for that map presence, whether you want to run ignite for that early kill pressure in lane. And it's a little bit interesting to see that our mid laner hasn't done anything with ignite so far. That's a summoner spell that you want to try to get down early to get uh, early pick, early kill. 
see our bot lane is backing. They have the wave. It's going to push it in. But the Sivir is going to be able to come and pick it up. Oh, and we see a actual gank going down in top lane. Our Vayne pops ult, but she still dies. So Vayne potentially could have lived that there by popping ult and getting the invisibility. But it did not happen in that case. Now it's a slight gold advantage for the enemy team after getting that pick. So our jungler is currently ahead in CS. Um, bot lane looking pretty even. Unfortunately, our top lane is getting um, a little bit focused because Vayne can be very, very, very weak if put behind. Oh, but we we see, I may have missed it, but our Pantheon used his ultimate into top lane and ended up with a kill on their Malphite. So we still have a small gold disadvantage, but things are looking pretty good for the team. And here we are seeing a kill for the enemy team in the bot side river. Looks like our bot lane was trying to help that there, but our jungler just got caught out in no man's land. And now it's a potential dragon for the rest of our team. The enemy team is taking the dragon here. Potential contest from our mid laner, from our Pantheon. But no, it looks like they have four here on the dragon, and that's going to be it. Oh, never mind. We do see a contest here. The enemy ends up picking up the dragon. We see a victor ult coming out onto our Ramus. And their jungler is on a killing spree. Good ganks coming out from their J4. See their bot lane is rotating back into their lane. And J4 is looking to clear wards here and potentially get a dive. Our Varus does have level 6 though. Varus looking to thin the wave. He just doesn't really want to get pushed under tower for free here. See our Vayne top lane still trying to maintain some CS. Let's go back to our mid laner. Looks like we're seeing a potential fight bot lane. Our bot lane is pretty pushed under, pretty low on health, low on mana. Yeah, we're going to see a pretty necessary back from our Varus here. Oh, it looks like he's not going for it. He's defending the the, the lane gank. Uh, we just missed a kill from their Malphite top lane. Malphite gets the kill on our vein. And we see Jarvan coming in using his ultimate. Burning Flash from Arvaris. And in top lane here, their Malphite is going to be getting a lot of value, getting a lot of turret platings. Enemy team currently missing an action. They could be going for a Rift Herald here, potentially. However, it's rather unlikely. Their jungler is probably just clearing his jungle. Um, bot lane are probably returning. So we're going to see both bot lanes returning to their lane at the same time. Decently sized gold advantage for the enemy team. Our Ramus is simply taking the top lane scuttle, trying to get that vision. And their victor is just getting tower platings, getting a gold lead. Looks like our Ramus wants to come mid lane with our Pantheon. Pantheon ults in. Ramus isn't able to make it, but he gets the taunt. They go for the stun, and they get the kill. Unfortunately, our support takes the kill. That could have been more value if someone else had got the kill, but that was still very, very well communicated. Pretty good poke from our support. 
And it looks like our team is going to be looking to try to get this Rift Herald objective here. Now that's going to give them a lot more map pressure. But while they're taking the Rift Herald bot lane, still a little bit contentious. Back to Rift Herald now. Sees the enemy team. They know they're doing it. We see a TP coming in mid lane. So their victor is going to have speed. He's going to be able to potentially get to this fight. Malphite coming in from top lane. J4 going in. Malphite gets a huge ult. J4 ulting onto our Bane. That's three ults coming out from the enemy team. That's one kill. They are going to get one kill for that and secure the Rift Herald. So that was well played from the enemy team there. Just collapsing super, super fast with the teleport. With three ultimates. And our Sivir, their Sivir, sorry, rotates up to try to get this mid tower. They have the Rift Herald. They have the map pressure. They're going to be able to get this tower for sure. And it's going down. The bot lane, we see them getting tower plating. So they're getting a little bit of gold in exchange. But that mid tower is definitely going to fall. Yeah. So right now, they're, uh, the enemy team's map presence, objective progress is just looking a little bit better. They definitely have a gold lead here. Ramus is just going to keep on going for those jungle clears. And we're seeing a dive happening. Yeah, they're... Ooh, but our Vayne actually gets a kill. Now that's something pretty interesting, is a kill on Vayne like that, especially onto a pretty big target, who might already have shut down gold going, that could really turn the game around. Depends on what our Vayne chooses to buy, but a Vayne with stats is very, very, very scary. We see their team trying to clear vision, potentially rotate up through the top lane uh, river onto top lane. Yep, Sivers here. So it's looking like they're going for a lane swap. They're going to get this tower uh, by pressuring with their jungler. We only really have Ramus here to guard it. Yeah, so we see three of their teammates top lane getting that tower. But in the meantime, our team really wants to take this dragon. Oh, okay. We see our Ramus getting a shutdown. Ah, uh, that's so unfortunate. Our, our Vayne was close to a kill. That's a double for their team, top lane. But we do get the dragon. So that's a little bit of um, objective progress for us in exchange for that kill. Overall, not too bad. It just, again, would have been better if our Vayne had gotten that kill for some late game potential. It's a big potential play from their victor, but it looks like he's going to die for it. Yep. Still died for it. Now Malphite's coming in for the cleanup, though. This is very, very scary. Gets that ult onto our Seraphin before her ult is able to do anything. Malphite gets the double kill, and it looks like he's going to play slow and shove it in here instead of go for the greedy dive. Things are looking pretty good for the enemy team. Ramus comes in here to defend the bot lane tower. But his stats just aren't up to par with the Malphite right now. We see the J4 coming in, clearing vision. Our Vayne is trying to rotate down to assist because there's a lot of pressure on this bot lane right now. The J4 is in a, in a neat spot. Looks like J4 is going mid. He sees that opening. He sees that he's able to get that tower. Like this tower is going to be undefended. Our entire team is looking bot lane. That's a kill from our mid laner. He's on a killing spree. And this Malphite is just going to have too much health, too many defensive stats for our team to really do anything. All the while, they're pulling full aggro from our team while going and pro possibly getting inhib turret. There are Varus here is trying to stop it, but... Ooh, a flash through, but he gets ulted on and killed anyways. Yep. Bot lane pressure is still there, but Malphite is just too big to really do anything against. Oh! As I say that, Vayne almost gets a nice third shot for the kill there. For those who don't know how Vayne works, she's mostly an auto-attacking champion who on every third shot gets a large amount of um, max health true damage. We're trying to defend this top lane turret here, but we simply can't. Their map presence is just more coordinated. They have more gold to support it. 
so now our team is going to be looking for um, defensive team fights, going to try to get some kills onto important targets. So, you know, potentially we could see our Pantheon scale up really hard. Our Pantheon is 3-0 and right now, um, but unfortunately their Sivir is 5-1 and with a lot of a lot of CS. So ideally we could see a uh, Sivir give up a kill onto our Pantheon. That is one way for this game to turn around, is if Sivir dies to our Pantheon here. If that doesn't happen, I'm having a hard time seeing a comeback for Owu on this one. We see a flash into a CC. That's going to be a lot of damage going on to our Vayne, though. Vayne decides that ult is needed, and they get the kill. That was pretty close, but luckily our Vayne had the ult to pop there and was able to survive. That was a kill onto our Vayne there. Our Vayne gets another kill. Our Vayne now 2-4, and four, but very, very behind on CS because she's been basically getting bullied out of her lane. And she gets ulted on and killed. Not much you can do against a J4 that that's, that's that fed. 4-1-6. and six. Yeah, he's he's dominating. Aramis comes in looking for a kill on the J4. Okay, that's honestly pretty big. A kill onto our Aramis there can give him a lot of stats. Okay, our Pantheon is looking pretty good here, doing a lot of damage. Looking like a potential kill on the Victor, nobody gets stunned. And Victor uses the Bomb Plant out. Wow, that that look is like that's looking like a season update. Uh, that Bomb Plant is very big. Didn't used to be uh, give you that much range on the Bomb Plant. But honestly, that was pretty well played from Owu. So how are the how are the stats looking like right now? So we see a four and O. Uh, Pantheon. That could really, really turn the game around for us. That's what we're going to be looking at. Potentially the Vayne scaling later into the game, but that 4-0 Pantheon. Enemy Malphite clearing wards. Enemy team is just trying to set up for as many objectives as they possibly can. They want to have this map control. They want to get this next dragon. They want to potentially get this Baron that's going to be coming up soon. Uh, so the enemy team is trying to get this Rift Herald before Baron comes up. Looks like J4 is just trying to solo that. Aramis is coming in to try to contest it, but his team is not really with him. Oh, wow. He does contest it and steals it. Very, very well played from Aramis, taking away a little bit of that uh, objective pressure. So now we're going to have more map pressure if we decide to use that. Looks like the uh, Chemtech Dragon is up here. And Jarvan a little bit caught out. We see an Ignite coming onto our Jarvan, onto their Jarvan, but he he gets out with with uh with his flag. Ramus is caught out, and they get ulted. Pantheon caught out, ulted. That's three ults coming out. Four ults for the enemy team. A Nami ult focused down onto our vein. Yeah, and that's just ults everywhere. Enemy team dumped all of their ults and killed our entire team. So it looks like they're gonna get this dragon here. Potentially could go for some turrets, but I'm thinking the enemy team is going to rotate up and take the Baron right after this. Overall, is the game still winnable for Owu? I would say so. Is it likely? Not at all. We see our Seraphin running out mid lane, Ramus going bot lane. They're just trying to stop as much damage to their towers as possible right now. Seraphin gets a big ult mid lane, and we actually see Pantheon diving onto it. He could get a kill on the Victor here. Ah, but he dives too deep. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, unfortunate. That was almost two from our Pantheon diving super deep. But that's a shutdown onto our Varus. That's a kill onto our Vayne. The gold gap is closing. They are getting shutdowns. Things might actually be able to happen for Owu here. But we're seeing a tank versus tank in the bot lane, a level 13 Malphite versus a level 10 Ramus. But Malphite just doesn't have the damage to do it. He's going full tank, so our Ramus is able to just space him off of that wave. We're looking mid lane here, looking to try to get that tower. Our Seraphin is, you know, thinking about Baron, maybe communicating it to the team, but nothing's happening. And that is a lot of damage onto their J4, but he makes it out. We are trying to get this mid turret here. I think it's possible. 
Uh, but they just, they don't have enough damage. If, if Varus had kept hitting it there, I think it would have been doable. They're definitely going to look for it here, though. Only Victor here to stop them. Nope. Sivir's here to stop them as well. Victor ults onto them. No stun for Victor, but that's the Sivir ult. They're running our team down. And our Varus gets picked off. They don't have enough speed here to get uh, the rest, but... Mid lane, what I just missed was a kill from our Malphite, or their Malphite, onto our Ramus. Oh. Pantheon going mid lane. Pantheon with a big ult. Gets the kill onto Nami. But our Vayne goes down. Our Pantheon tracking. Ah, but he can't. Can't make it through that victor damage, and our team gets aced. We have Varus coming, coming back up pretty soon here. Gold lead still under 10k, but um, looks like the enemy team is starting to run away with this one more and more. Two dragons, five turrets versus zero turrets. So I think this is best of three. So I think if we lose this one, that will be the series. Looks like our Ramus is just trying to clear his jungle here. The enemy team, um, mid lane, trying to reset. We have vision on Baron here, so we know that they're not going for Baron. Mid lane looking like it could get a little bit spicy here. Yep, we see Jarvan starting to rotate to mid. Probably a lot of enemies here in this mid lane. Ah, uh, no, I think they're I think they're wanting Baron here. Uh, but no, we see them lurking through our jungle, just going for a pick onto our Pantheon. Yeah, and it's it's going to happen here. Now they're definitely going to start looking barren. Without their Pantheon, our team is looking a little bit ragged. So I don't know if they're going to be able to contest this Baron at all. Enemy team's definitely going for it. Our team is just chilling out in the jungle around the Baron. They're looking for a push onto it. Our Ramus is going. They might have too much damage. Baron's looking low here. We get a, a kill onto our vein. Nami ult comes out, doesn't hit anything. Our Ramus is running away, and they're all sort of chasing our Ramus, all running mid lane. A flash, an ult, but our Seraphin flashes out, gets a pretty big spacing ult. But their Malphite is just running unstoppable. That's actually a lot of damage out for Owu there. Mal we see our Pantheon coming in. Kill from Pantheon. Looking at their back line. Double kill for Pantheon. That's a stun. Cleaning up. Triple for Pantheon. Not an ace, but um, they get a quad. Victor going with Baron into bot lane. Going to potentially get an inhib here. We see Vayne backing for this Victor. Level 15 Victor versus a level 12 Vayne. It's going to be really hard for our Vayne to do much. The three members of our team still trying to push up through mid and get a lot of value off of that uh, off of that quad that they got, but unfortunately it's not going to happen. Our wave is way behind the team here. Actually, we see the enemy team coming up in 15. Their Nami's back inst uh, immediately. But it looks like our team should be able to get this tower here. I don't think their Nami's going to be able to defend this. Yep, it's looking like the tower for our team. Victor comes, not able to stop it. And our team is going for the Chem Dragon here. But their team is uh, is coming down. They want it. Can we get an early stop onto this Victor from our Pantheon? He uses Zonia's. Our Pantheon gets uh, ulted, double ulted onto our Pantheon. And our Panth is super low. Unfortunately, he dies. That was really well played from the enemy team. Entire enemy team starts to collapse into this river. We're seeing a Pantheon, or sorry, a Jarvan ult. Jarvan gets the kill. And it's just too much speed, too much, too many stats from the enemy team. Still not 10k gold behind though. 10k is usually when we is usually when we call it, but this game is still possibly winnable for Owu. They just need some really big team fight wins here. I would honestly say that Owu scales harder, unless you know the Sivir update changed Sivir's scaling. Sivir did used to be a pretty strong scaling champ, but I, I like uh, 
I like Pantheon. I like Ramus. I like Varus more. Sorry, Vayne, but it's a kill from their victor. We're missing our Varus. That's a lot of damage that we're missing. We see J4 go in, trying to look for our Pantheon, but he doesn't get anything here. See our Vayne playing a little bit of front line. Yeah, they're just trying to just trying to stop as much damage as they can here, but unfortunately the enemy team gets two inhibitors. So we're gonna see super minions coming in bot lane and top lane. And possibly the enemy team just lurking here in our bot side jungle. But now this is a place where the game could go one of two directions. We were on a, the enemy team is on a pretty big gold lead, but now our Pantheon and our Vayne, they're going to be able to farm up these super minions. Unfortunately, our Vayne is still super, super behind. So it looks like one of our hardest scaling characters is just getting bullied out too hard. I think the enemy team knows that if that Vayne gets off the ground, it's going to be rough for them. So they're really, really trying to keep that under wraps. And honestly, the biggest threat from the enemy team is looking like this J4 and this uh, this Sivir. Even this Victor as well. The enemy team is just way, way bigger right now. And we see J4. He's, he's looking for a dive. Doesn't go for it. We see both teams are pinging this bot lane. They want to go for the tower. They want to defend this tower. J4 dives in a little early. We see uh, Victor ult, Nami ult coming out with a Seraphin counter ult. It takes them a while to kill our Ramus though, but their enemy team is looking pretty low here. That's a Guardian Angel coming off of their J4. Seraphin gets a shutdown and chases them off, and they're going to actually, I believe, waste the Guardian Angel of J4, get a kill onto J4. That's the Ignite coming out. J4 can still hop. Yep, he makes it out. Pretty impressive escape from the J4 there, but honestly good fight win for our team that just allows them to farm up even more super minions farm up even more gold it just gives them time to reset and get their bearings down so what's our team looking like right now our vein is still behind pantheon is strong oh and actually varus is not going lethality he's playing ap varus so that is something pretty unique here our team actually has a large variety of damage sources we have a on hit slash ap varus we have Vayne, who does a lot of uh, true damage. So, if our team can actually keep this game going, there is a possibility that their stats just start to beat out the enemy team's stats. Our levels are looking fairly even here. A little bit underleveled. But if our team can just keep their composure... Um, we see... Yeah, Malphite just one-shotting our Vayne there. That's why it's so hard to exist as Vayne, especially against a character like Malphite. He just doesn't take damage uh, from anything other than third shot, and he can one-shot you with one ability. Like the enemy team is going to start clearing out vision for uh, Baron here and wanting to go for this Baron. Yep, looks like the enemy team is going to be taking this Baron here. Our Ramus is a little bit, he knows about it, but he's not able to contest it in any way. Varus just trying to keep farming that, uh, that gold. But we see a possible fight going down here. Our Ramus is just spacing it out. Gonna keep farming super minions in mid, in mid lane, but it looks like Enemy team is going to be going for this dragon. Neither teams have three yet, so we're not going to see soul at least for a few more minutes. We see our Ramus coming in trying to steal, but it doesn't work out for him, and he just gets bursted down. Malphite's applying a lot of pressure on the top lane by just existing. But now our Vayne is trying to rotate in for this. Potential kill on Malphite here. If there's anyone who's going to be able to do it, it's our Varus and our Vayne. Uh, but Malphite just ults onto him. 
with a big flash and a big shutdown from Arveris. But J4 follows up on it. We see a Victor ult onto him. Yeah, J4 ult, Victor ult. Seraphin is trying to keep it here. He's trying to survive. Pops her ult, but the Nami ult comes in. Our mid laner gets shut down, and that looks like it's all she wrote for Owu tonight. But there's a lot of comeback potential there for Owu, so overall, pretty good game. Final kill, and that's a good game.